Hi everyone, in this video we will cover additional examples on relations. In this example, you have two sets given here, set A and set B and relationship is given. Relationship from A to B, from A to B is defined as X and Y, this is nothing but the ordered pair. Relation R will have ordered pairs where X is the element taken from set A and Y is the element taken from set B in such a way that Y should be 2X plus 1, right? So, relationship between x and y is defined by this, this particular statement, y is equal to 2x plus 1. That is, if say x is equal to 1, we will take elements from set A, say x is equal to 1, then y should be 2x plus 1, that is, instead of x I will put 1, so I will get 2 plus 1, 3, y is equal to 3. So, if x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. So, what is the first ordered pair in R? 1 comma 3. Now let's go to the second element that is let's take x is equal to 2. Remember one thing x is the first element in this ordered pair and this x is taken from set A. Now x is equal to 2 then what should be y? y is 2 times of x plus 1 which is 2 times of 2 plus 1 which is 5. y is equal to 5. Remember one thing this y should belong to b. x should belong to a and y should belong to b. We get y as 5. Does it belong to b? No. This does not belong to B. So, we cannot form this ordered pair. We cannot form 2, 5. 2, 5 is not a ordered pair because 5 does not belong to B. So, now if I take x is equal to 3 also, that is next element, even then the condition will not get satisfied because y is going to become 2 times of 3 plus 1 which is 7. So, 7 is not there in B. So, we will have to stop here. The only ordered pair that satisfies this relationship is 1 comma 3. Now, let us take a similar example where they have told R is a relation on set of natural numbers. So, set of natural numbers. Let us assume that set is A. Natural numbers. Right? Goes on. And X is related to Y. X is related to Y in such a way that X is equal to 3Y. X is equal to 3 times of Y. Find R now. So, R is a list of ordered pairs. First, right. Let us write. Let us take the first element from A. Right? Say, let us start with 1. X is equal to 3 times of Y. Right? I should choose x in such a way that it is 3 times of y. So, what I will do is, I will just write y is equal to 1 third of x. Correct? If I shift 3 this side, I will get x by 3 is equal to y. So, y is x by 3. So, let me choose x as 1. If I choose x as 1, then y will be x by 3, which is 1 by 3. Now, 1 by 3 does not belong to natural numbers. Natural numbers are whole numbers, right? Like 1, 2, 3. It cannot be a fraction. So, this is not right. Now, let us go to x is equal to 2. If I take x is equal to, I will get y is equal to 2 by 3. This is also a fraction. This is not a natural number. Let me go to x is equal to 3. x is equal to 3 is y is equal to 3 by 3. That is 1. So, 1 is a natural number and it belongs to this particular set. So, the first ordered pair is 3 and 1. 3 and 1. Now, similarly, we can continue with 4, 5, 6. We can continue with infinite series, right? 4 and 5 also will not satisfy. If I take x is equal to 4, I will get y is equal to 4 by 3. If I take x is equal to 5, I will get y is equal to 5 by 3. So, all these will not satisfy. But if I take x is equal to 6, then y is equal to 6 by 3, which is 2. This will satisfy. So, next one is 6 comma 2. So, like this, if I continue, right, I observe that first element should be multiple of 3. So, it can be 9 comma 3. Then it can be 12 comma 4. So, like this, it will continue. So, this is the relation, right? I will just write 3 pairs or 4 pairs and stop. So, this becomes a relation. Let us go with another example. Set A is given, set B is given. Relation is given. What is the relation? Relation is from A to B, from this set to this set, the relationship is defined by E is less than. E is less than. That is, I have to choose an element from A and that element should be less than Y. That is this element. So, I can say R is equal to X, Y. X is less than Y and x belongs to a and y belongs to b. If I have to write this in this form, x is less than y. x is the element from set a and y is the element from set b and the relationship between these two sets is less than. So, now let us come up with relation. Now, first element I will take 1. I will start with first element in set a, 1 and I should choose element in set b and it should be less than 1. If I take x as 1, then 1 should be less than y, any element here. So, if I take 2, 1 less than 2 satisfies because it should be x less than y. So, 1 is less than 2. I can also take 1 less than 3. 
I can take 1 less than 5. Basically, I am taking all the elements of set B with 1 element of set A. Right? So, dotted pairs are 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 5. Now, let's go to second element, 2. That is, we will make x is equal to 2. What will be y? x should be less than y. So, 2 should be less than y. y is the element taken from set B. It can't be 2 less than 2, right? But I can take second element 3. 2 less than 3, yes. Then, I will go with the next one. 2 less than 5, yes. So, ordered pairs are 2, 3 and 2, 5. Now, we will go with third element of set A. x is equal to 4. So, what should y be? Can y be 2? No. Because, is 4 less than 2? No. Can I take y is equal to 3 now? That is second element. If I take y is equal to 3, still it does not satisfy this condition. So, let me take y is equal to 5, the third element here. If y is equal to 5, x is equal to 4. So, 4 less than 5. This condition is satisfied. So, next ordered pair is 4, 5. That's all. We are done. We have covered all three elements here. So, this is the relation. Now, let's go with another example where we have to give an example for relation which is reflexive but not symmetric and not transitive. Basically, we will have to find three relations satisfying these three statements. Right? First one is reflexive. It should be reflexive but not symmetric and it should not be transitive. Let's take some relation. It should only be reflexive. What does reflexive mean? Reflexive means A, comma A should belong to R. That is, it should have the same element repeated. Let us take some set A. Say 1, 2, 3. Let this be set. Right? Now, I have to take elements from this set and the same element should be repeated. Only then I can call it as reflexive. So, I should have 1, comma 1, 2, comma 2, 3, comma 3. I can have others also. 2, comma 3, 3, comma 2 and all that. So, this is an example for reflexive. But it should not be symmetric. It should not be symmetric. So, for symmetric, the condition is, if AB belongs to R, then BA should belong to R. Only then it is called a symmetric. We have 2, 3. 2, 3 belonging to R. If 2, 3 belongs to R, then 3, 2 also should belong to R. But we don't have 3, 2 here in this series. So, it is not symmetric. And it should not be transitive also. For transitive, what is the condition? If AB belongs to R, BC belongs to R, then AC should belong to R. That means, let's see if this particular condition is there. If 2, 3, let's take this example. 2, 3 is in R and 3, 1 is there, then 2, 1 should be present. Right? 2, 3 and 3, 1 is there, then this one. 2, 1 should be present. But I don't see 2, 1 here. So, this is not transitive. So, this is only reflexive, not symmetric and not transitive. Now, the next one is, it should be symmetric. Relation should be symmetric, but not reflexive and not transitive. So, let's modify the same relation. Right? Let's come up with some relation R where it should be symmetric. That means AB belongs to R, BA belongs to R. That means if 1, 2 is there, I should have 2, 1. If there is 1, 3, I should have 3, 1. This list of ordered pairs makes it symmetric. Now, next one, it should not be reflexive. Reflexive means simple. You should not have 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So, let's not put that. And it should not be transitive also. That means if 1, 2 is there, 1, 2 is there, and 2, 1 is there, then transitive says that 1, 1 should be there. This element and this element should be there. 1, 1. 1, 1 is not there. So, basically, this particular relation, I can say, is only symmetric and not reflexive and not transitive. Now, the third one, it should be transitive but not reflexive and not symmetric. Now, let's take an example for transitive relation. 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. So, here, we have 1, 1 and 1, 2. If 1, 1 and 1, 2 is present, then as per transitive, this one and this one should be in relation. That is 1, 2 should be in R, which is there. That's why this is transitive. Now, it should not be symmetric. Here, 1, 2 is there, but 2, 1 is not there. So, it is not symmetric. And it should also not be reflexive. Now, for this relation to be reflexive, it should have 3, 3 as well. Because set A is 1, 2, 3. Now, there is no 3, 3 here. Therefore, it is not reflexive. So, this relationship is only transitive, but not reflexive and not symmetric. Let's go through another example where a relation is defined on the set of integers. And it's defined as R. R will have ordered pair x, y, where x minus y is a multiple of non-zero integer phi. This is the relation, right? We have to prove that this R is an equivalence relation on Z. Z is nothing but set of integers. 1, 2, 3, and so on. Equivalence relation means you have to prove that it is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. All three relations should be satisfied. Only then it's an equivalence relation. First one, what is reflexive? Reflexive means with itself. 
there should be a relationship with itself so if i take x if i take any element from this z from set from this particular set right say i take 1 right it should have a relationship with itself and what is the relationship it should be a multiple when i say x minus y it should be a multiple of y so in this case it should be x minus x so because second element y is second element second element should be same as the first element x minus x right remember a comma a should be there in r so it should be 1 comma 1 right what should be the relation 1 minus 1 x minus y is equal to 0 and the 0 should be a multiple of 5 obviously right 0 is a multiple of 5 multiple means 5 divides you can say like this also 5 divides 0 5 divides 0 or 5 divides x minus y 5 divides x minus y instead of calling it a multiple i can also say 5 divides x minus y so this condition is satisfied now let's go through transitive relation let's assume that 5 divides x minus y and 5 divides y minus z now if 5 divides this and 5 divides this then 5 divides x minus y you should add both x minus y plus y minus z it divides the sum of this right basically let's take some numbers and uh, go through this example suppose you have say x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 15 okay let's take these two numbers now we say x minus y in this case would become 5 10 minus 15 it will become minus 5 rather right x minus 5 is y is minus 5 can i say minus 5 5 divides this can i say 5 divides minus 5 yes right 5 divides minus 5 right now let's take z let's say z as 20 for example now in this case y minus z y minus z that is it will be 15 minus 20 which is again minus 5 so again minus 5 is divisible by 5 this is also right right so x minus 5 is divisible by 5 y minus z is also divisible by 5 what is the transitive condition let's take x minus z now that is what will prove that it is transitive what is x minus z x is 10 x minus z x is 10 and z is what if we assume z as z as 20 10 minus 20 this will become minus 10 so minus 10 is also divisible by 5 right 5 divides minus 10 when we took some sample numbers also we found that if x minus y is divisible by 5 and y minus z is divisible by 5 then x minus z is also divisible by 5 so through numbers it is proven one more thing here is if i add x minus y and y minus z if i add x minus y plus y minus z and say 5 divides this one adding this what will happen y and y will get cancelled minus y and plus y will get cancelled x minus z i will be left with x minus z 5 divides x minus z right so using this concept of addition i can prove that 5 divides x minus z even using numbers i can prove now if i add x minus y if i add these if i add this and this x minus y and y minus z i add that is minus 5 and minus 5 when i add i'm going to get minus 10 obviously minus 10 is divisible by 5 same thing we have done here right here we use numbers and here we are generalizing using x and y in this manner we should prove that it is transitive for symmetric x minus y is a multiple of y then y minus x also should be a multiple of y correct it's nothing but there is a minus sign right so if 5 is a multiple of 5 then minus 5 is also multiple of 5 say take some other number i'll take 20 if 20 is multiple of 5 then minus 20 is also multiple of 5 just that there is minus sign so similarly if x minus y is a multiple of 5 then y minus x also should be multiple of 5 so therefore this is symmetric so the way i will have to write this is y divides x minus y now what i will do i will take minus common outside so i'll get minus x plus y this is nothing but phi divides i can just swap this i'll write as minus y minus x right instead of writing like this i'll write it like this so phi divides minus of y minus x this is nothing but phi divides y minus x right because phi can divide positive numbers also phi can divide negative numbers also sign does not matter right to to prove that it is multiple or not or to prove that it is divisible or not therefore r is symmetric now since this relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive we can say that relation r is an equivalence relation on z with this we have come to the end of this particular topic thanks for watching hope this video was useful